Good evening, Catamount family, and welcome to the Gary Comer College Prep graduation for the class of 2020. Tonight, we celebrate our scholars' persistence, the ending of one chapter of their lives and the beginning of another. While I wish we were in person to celebrate our graduates, I'm grateful for the opportunity to do so virtually. We thank you in advance for tuning in to watch our Catamounts, and thank you for entrusting them to us over the years. Good evening, parents, family members, guests, teachers, faculty, and of course, class of 2020. These last four years have been so surreal. There is no need for me to recollect all the memories made over the years I've gotten to know you all. A lot of events took place in the halls of Comer, but nothing is more important than how we are choosing to walk out of them. I would expect that each and every one of us took out the time to reflect during this quarantine. I encourage you to take what you have learned and discovered with you onto your next journey. Live life like every day is your last. Make tomorrow mean another chance to improve on founding mistakes. You are no longer living for yourself, but for a whole world that is depending on you. This is it. This is the day you all have been waiting on. And now that it's here, I know that it is not seen as remarkable as we may wish, and I would imagine that this experience is very bittersweet for most of us. Some more bitter than others. However, in these last few months, I've realized the significant role that school plays in our day-to-day -day lives. It is more than education. High school is like the foreign language that I never understood, but like the sound of it. Busy hallways, secluded lunch tables, understanding teachers, fun events, quiet but quite entertaining town halls, seasoned baked chicken, funny remarks in the classroom, Patterson in every classroom. I think y'all get the point. Over the years, we complained about the demerit system and the rest of the rules that went along with it. But I guarantee you something in that list made you smile. Because high school is what you make it, and so is life. April 5th through May 8th, I was battling with my depression while also having excruciating allergic reactions. And look at me now, speaking to you all today because I decided I wasn't going to let life win this one. The world may be in uncertain times right now, but don't let that make your future uncertain. I cannot think of a better time than thriving in the midst of chaos. Now, I must say, it was a hayride getting to know all of you, but our time has come to an end. This doesn't mean goodbye forever, but this is our closing chapter. Class of 2020 will be missed dearly and forever remain in my heart. See you in the next chapter. Good evening, guests, family, and friends of the graduating class of 2020. Before offering a few words to continue to inspire and motivate this fine group of young men, I want to first extend a heartfelt gratitude to their families and parents for allowing me the short opportunity to be a part of their lives for this past year. I am sincerely grateful. Thank you. Essentially, we started the year not knowing what our new advisor advisee relationship would be and how we would make it work to finish strong. Malcolm X reminds us with his words, don't be in such a hurry to condemn a person because he doesn't do what you do or think as you think. There was once a time when you didn't know what you know. We didn't know in the beginning of the year, but we were all willing to learn, work hard, and thrive to reach our goals together. Thus, we are here at this very moment about to accomplish a milestone worthy of a celebration receiving your high school diploma, regardless of the physical location. Fellas, you know I like to keep it short and simple and as real as possible, but I'm compelled to make sure I don't miss the essentials that I think may help you on your individual paths to success. I will be remiss not to caution you that the world, society, college, friends, and even family is not always going to like you, celebrate you, encourage you, help you, Life just gets more complex as you become an adult. You can recall over the years the challenges that you had to face, academic ruts, family issues, changes that affected you in some way, and lastly, the injustices that continue to come alive just being a black man in America. There will be times that you will have to tap back into that same strength, perseverance, and determination it took to overcome and triumph during those tough times. You have the tools to turn opposition and potential obstacles into positive outcomes with a concrete plan rooted in knowledge and centered in hope. 
Plans may change, but purpose doesn't. Being a strong black man is a badge of honor that you must wear proudly while being aware that all may not view it as such. Knowing that this world is not fair and that we must be prepared with a concrete plan centered in education is the realization that we face. As you enter your college campuses, I encourage you all to learn lots, content, people, and culture. Learn about life. Preserve your commitment to community and continue to pay it forward by giving back. It is truly your duty. A people without the knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. Marcus Garvey shared these words that we must, must embody. Learn more about yourselves. Our roots are rich in dopeness. As I end, the only words that come to mind is, the race isn't given to the swift nor the strong, but those who endureth till the end. You have a place in the race. Just never stop believing in yourself. Dream big and remember throughout life, plans may change, but purpose doesn't. You never have to dim your light for anybody or situation. Continue to shine, shine brightly, wherever your journey may take you. Congratulations, fellas. A congratulations are in order to the class of 2020 as a whole, to the BUDS advisory in particular, to the parents of these amazing young women, to their teachers, and to the advisors who were with them for their freshman and sophomore year. You all did this. I arrived for the fun part of advising. These women were truly self-sufficient, independent, and really on top of it. I had the pleasure of sitting back and celebrating with them as their hard work paid off. You all poured energy into these girls who are now women, ready to take on whatever journey is next. So thank you. To say times are uncertain is an understatement, but these women possess qualities that leave me confident that they will be trailblazers through the unknown. Grace is perceptive, Daviana is caring, Jada is compassionate, Kanisha is understanding, Darvanisha is diligent, Amari is resilient, Ryan is persistent, Michaela is fierce, Jalea is courageous, Dobriana is curious, Jasmine is nurturing, Nia is honest, Diamond is gracious, Unique is thoughtful, Destiny is calm, Dania is loyal, Denia is determined, Alexis is relentless, and Aaliyah is observant. These women will scale whatever mountains they choose and slay any obstacle presented to them. They have the skills to conquer and the gentleness to be considerate. They are the good in the world. They are the change we need. As we go our separate ways and you all embark on whatever journey is mapped out for you, my hope is that you are always heard, that you are always respected, and that you always know that your Comer family is in your corner. The first Buds Advisory will always hold a special place in my heart and mind, and I cannot wait to celebrate the accomplishments that will follow this one. I've always wanted twin girls. But as the decades went by, I resolved that my dream just was not God's plan for me. Until the fall of 2016, when I was blessed with not two girls, but 20 plus amazing freshman girls. And now I have standing before me 18 of the most precious ladies who are more than I could have ever asked or dreamed for. I fell in love with you right away. I love your unique, diverse personalities, and I loved watching you grow and mature as you became the independent, confident young women that you are today. We've had our moments together, and yet I've always been crazy about you. It was so easy for me to name our advisory the Bays, beauty and excellent. The perfect description of you. As you embark on the beginning of a new chapter, I want to leave with you another meaning for Bay. B. Be, be bold and brave. Take risks. Forge new paths and strengthen existing ones. Learn from those who went before you, whose broad shoulders you stand upon. A. Always be kind and always hopeful. Kind in your words and actions. Give each other gratitude. Forgive much and often. Keep hope alive. E, embrace you and enjoy life. 
There is no one else like you, nor will there ever be. You are uniquely, perfectly you. So continue to elevate yourself. But in the climb, don't forget to enjoy life and have fun. Live with no regrets. Make wise choices. I love who you are, and I love who you've become. I'm so proud of you. You will forever be the one and only Bush Bays. I love you to infinity and beyond. Now go and show the world your beauty and your excellence and be the change we desperately need to see in the world. After my first advisory graduated, I wanted to get a new advisory right away. I was convinced that it would be easier the second time around. I knew the ropes. I understood Comer and the SAT and the college application process. I knew what to expect. I was positive that it would be easier advising boys than it was girls. That part, at least, I think was true. I believe that I had more of the answers to life's mysteries than I did four years prior, and I'd be better able to share my knowledge with my new advisory that named itself the Young Burks. It's funny how wrong I was. As you're about to embark on the next part of this journey we call life, I realize I don't have many answers to give you. The world feels like it has completely changed, even if we know it really hasn't. The world hasn't really changed, but it is no longer hiding the ugliness that was there all along. So where does that leave you? What does that mean for the 16 young men who I've started my mornings with for the last few years? What does it mean for the brilliant, hardworking, and passionate gentlemen I've had the privilege to call my advisors? What does it mean for your place in this crazy world of ours, both now and years from now? Finally, a question I know the answer to. It means what it has always meant, that the world is going to give you nothing and you will need to take what you deserve. You are the strongest, most versatile, and confident young men I have ever had the privilege to know. I have seen your resourcefulness when there was a challenge to overcome. I have seen your intelligence bloom and blossom. I have seen your absolute fearlessness in the face of adversity. There is nothing that can stop you. The world may be a cruel place at times, but no one is more up to the challenge than you. To the young Bergs, the only advice I can offer you is to follow your instincts and never doubt yourself. You are not going to find your place in this world. You are going to take it. And I pity those that will attempt to stand in your way. Congratulations to the Eckberg Advisory. This phase of your life is over. I cannot wait to see what the next one brings. Congratulations, class of 2020, and congratulations to the Gibson Advisory. First, I would like to thank the families of all the Gibson advisees for their unwavering support on this journey, both of me and of the girls. I started imagining this day way back in August of 2016 when I greeted a group of wide-eyed freshman girls in a second floor classroom at Gary Comer College Prep. When I sat down to write this graduation speech, all I could think was, this isn't how I pictured it. When we met, I had never spoken to a group of students before ever. I wondered if you could see how scared I was. I remember you were scared too. We spent every weekday morning together for four straight years. Celebrations, breakups, awards, loss, holidays, many breakfasts, milestones, the occasional shouting from me, and sometimes crying, which has been all of us, depending on the day. We've survived illness and death, college acceptances, and life together. I've spent the last four years calling you my girls, but you are not mine. You never were. You are all brilliantly and wonderfully yourselves. On the day we met, we made a promise to one another. I promised I would be the person delivering your graduation speech in the summer of 2020, and by enrolling at GCCP, you promised to work hard and aim high. I am pleased to say we have kept our promises to each other, even if it isn't how I pictured it. 
Just as we could not have predicted how our time together would end, so too we cannot predict what the future will hold. What I do know for sure is that if you make a list of things you hope to accomplish in the future, you will likely be selling yourself short. As you face the new challenges of college and beyond, know this. Your learning has brought you far, but a lifelong love of learning will bring you even farther. You will go on to impact your community, your city, and this entire planet. I am confident that each of you has the tools that you need to set out and fulfill your own unique and wonderful destiny. This is only the beginning. Congratulations, Gibsons. I feel sorry for anyone who dares stand in your way. Hassle Advisory, congratulations. I'm so, so very proud of you. So very proud of you. You came, you saw, you conquered. In the midst of a worldwide pandemic, you rose to the top. Many of the things that you dreamed about didn't happen, but your dreams never stopped. We are proud of you, probably more than you'll ever know. Even as the world came to a halt, your vision stayed on go. Virtual classes became your new norm. You could have folded, but you weathered the storm. We weathered the storm. Hold your heads up high, for you have nothing to be ashamed. The whole world will remember your names. We will call you adapters, survivors, champions, leaders, and agents of change. At times, it may not seem fair, Sometimes it may not seem true. Stay strong and do not let this moment define you. Press on, hassles, and know that you can conquer all things. Continue to be encouraged in tough times, much like the caged bird that still sings. Focus on the positive. Don't live in regret. You are a part of the Hassle Advisory Class of 2020, one that we will never forget. Graduating from high school is an important milestone and the culmination of the past four years of hard work. Getting here has been challenging and filled with adversity, such as adjusting to a new advisor, teachers, and principal, while also balancing an academic, social, and personal life. But through it all, you've shown resiliency, commitment, and resolve to reach this special moment. And with all the uncertainty surrounding the world and possibly even your next steps, graduation provides the opportunity to not just celebrate, but to also reflect and refocus. Celebrate this achievement with the people that have been supportive of you throughout this journey. These support systems were there each step of the way, providing encouragement, motivation, and guidance to help you get here. So celebrate your graduation with them. Reflect on all the hard work and perseverance it took to get you to this point. It may not have been easy, but you took everything in stride and continued pushing until you reached your goal, graduation. And after celebrating and reflecting, refocus on the goals that you have set for your future because there is still so much left to accomplish. But for now, just enjoy your moment and be proud to call yourself a graduate. Congratulations to the Hamilton Advisory and the entire Gary Comer Prep College Class of 2020. Hi, dearest publics. If there's one thing we've learned these past two years, it was that first impressions are not always correct. We've come so far from where we first started when all you knew about me was I was the teacher you hit in the head with that blow up globe your sophomore year. It has taken plenty of learning opportunities, come to our census moments, and apologizing when one of us is wrong. But our collective patience and determination has brought us here today, ready to start the next challenge, even if we don't know what that looks like. We started out without any idea on how to relate to one another, and over time became an advisor that I'll remember for constantly dancing, laughing till our sides hurt, and numerous lunch talks. I wish more than ever that this graduation was normal for you. As I sit here now, I find myself wanting more time, and not just because of COVID. More time to discuss, to dance, which was almost constant anyways, and more time to enjoy the energetic and amazing individuals that you are. 
So many of you brought up my birthday as my your favorite memory. It stands out in my mind as not only the day that you got me to dance the soldier boy, but a day where you gave freely, choosing things that you knew I loved the most. It was the most thoughtful and fun advisory memory that I too will cherish. I am so excited to see where life takes you. I'm confident that you'll take your grit and never ending Energizer Bunny personalities and succeed at anything you put your mind to. You have taught me so much. Life rarely goes the way you planned as I'm sure you've learned over the past few months. It's always unpredictable, but I hope you always find the bright spots among the unpredictability. It is possible to experience both pain and beauty in life at the same time. Look at the way the community has come together this past week. How much more you appreciate seeing others' faces on Google Meets. Always remember this and remember if you're struggling, we will always be there for you. There's one last thing to take with you. Remember to never settle for less than you deserve. That includes boyfriends, husbands, friends, and even an expectations for yourself. Always stand up for yourself and never let someone or something convince you that you don't deserve what's best. Hold your heads high and know I will always be there for you, whether it's to celebrate or reassure you when life gets rough. Never stop dancing. Never stop fighting for what is right. I could not ask, have asked for a better group of ladies to spend my mornings with. It has been my absolute joy and honor to be your advisor. If this year has taught me anything, it's the importance of time. When I first became advisor to this fantastic group of young women, it was already their junior year. Meeting these young women as sophomores as their Spanish teacher my first year, and then getting to know them even better as their advisor, I was amazed by what talented and ferocious young women they already were. I felt a little melancholy that I had missed out on the first years of their growth and that I wasn't lucky enough to see their entire journey from childhood to adulthood. Still, I was excited to see what challenges awaited them and what challenges they would overcome in the final push to graduation. Wow, I had no idea. After the first two months of this school year, I went out on maternity leave and gave birth to my first child, Joanna, whom your little sister, as many of you affectionately call her. I treasured those moments at home with my daughter, but I'd often find my mind wandering towards my Comer family, wondering how my advisees were doing and missing each one of them terribly. As anyone with children knows, it's difficult to first go back to work. You worry about the time you will miss with your child. I worried, as I'm sure many parents watching right now are worrying. Will my child be okay without me? Knowing that I would get to spend the last year of my advisee's high school career with them tempered my anxiety with excitement and anticipation of seeing all the incredible things they were going to do in those final weeks. And then we all know what happened next. This time hasn't been what we thought it was going to be. Far from it. The challenges have been different and greater than any of us imagined but we can only hope that they will drive change that will make our world a better place. Still, every single one of you has made it through to the end and I couldn't be more proud of you. Even though this experience isn't ending how we thought it would, that doesn't make the journey any less special. In fact, it makes me treasure the time we had together even more. And I hope you leave high school with this lesson in your hearts. Remember to treasure your time with your loved ones. Remember to treasure the experiences and the moments, the ups as well as the downs, because you wouldn't be who you are today without each one, the good and the bad. Each one of you is about to embark on your own personal journey, and I hope you savor every second of it, because I know you all are going to go amazing places and do amazing things, using what you have learned at Gary Comer to change the world for the better. Congratulations. We are here today to celebrate the class of 2020, a group of fantastic young people. Despite everything, I am still hopeful for the future because I know that the graduates we are recognizing today will go out in the world to do great things. I am especially inspired by the group of young men that I have spent every morning with for the past four years. They were mornings filled with jokes, discussions, and my advisees good-naturedly putting up with my constant nagging. I do not think I have anything left to teach them, so instead I would like to focus on the good these young men will go out to bring to the world. The Stevens Advisory will become role models by being the ideal teammate, like Caleb. 
by having a strong sense of self, like Kendall, by accepting responsibility with a dose of humor, like James. The Stevens Visory will bring good by always smiling while getting things done like LaRoyce, by being intensely curious like Charles, by showing nothing but the deepest respect for others like Raja, by not taking themselves too seriously as they live up to their full potential, like Emmanuel. The Stevens Advisory will make life better for others by being artistic, like Caleb, by being patient, like Marshawn, and being strong and supportive, like David. They will bring something new to the world by seeking new experience and being wildly interesting people like Willis, by being the person you want on a project, like Miles, by working with quiet determination, like Antoine, and by always being willing to communicate, like Harold. I never expected, but I'm deeply grateful for the 14 role models I now have in my life. I'm intensely proud of each and every one of you, and I know that you will go out to do great things in the world, and I hope it's ready for you. As I stand here in this unflattering, cumbersome gown, I think of how weird this all feels. Not just because this hat is highly uncomfortable, and I'm standing here in my kitchen talking to you all, but mostly because I was so looking forward to being with you and celebrating with you as you walk the stage. Your last year of high school was slammed to a sudden halt just months before celebrations could be had. Yet, you're here, and we are all here because of you in celebration and appreciation of you, your resilience, adaptability, and bright futures. To my advisees, I have infinite gratitude for each and every one of you. You've left an incredible impact on my life individually and collectively, um, and it's been a joy and honor growing with you. Thank you for sharing with me what Black Girl Magic, Black Joy, Black Excellence, and Southside Pride is all about. Families, thank you for your support. Today is a day of, in celebration of you as much as it is with our students. And one last thing I want to say is the power of youth movement. We're all familiar with the saying, it takes a village to raise a child. And I believe the inverse to be equally as powerful and relevant. It takes a child to raise a village. Everyone who's in your village is here because our reward is your future, a sustainable and equitable future that you will create. Although the world right now seem to be uprooted and rebuilt during these unimaginable times, I have the most faith in its new architects. Class of 2020, congratulations. Dwan Alexander III. Rayshon Alexander. Q Anderson. India Arnold. Hello everyone. I just want to thank my mom, my uncle, and my teachers for everything that y'all done for me. Y'all have prepared me for this moment. America Avila. Gabriel Avina. Christian Banks. Leoncia Banks. Caitlin Barrett. My name is Caitlin Barrett with the class of 2020 and I would like to give a big thank you out to my mom and everyone that has supported me through my high school journey and pushed me to be the best person I can be. Chloe Benton. Hey y'all, it's Chloe B, of course. And this season, we are taking on college. I will be happy to see y'all again, but I love you all, and I wish you all the best. Tajania Berry. Mm -hmm. 
help me if you are not acknowledged in 10 seconds. If the shoe fits, wear it. Vice President, out. Jasmine Bishop. Christian Blackman. Kenneth Bledsoe. Israel Booker. Lamarian Kentrell Brewer. Aubrey Brown. Imani Brown. Nazaren Brown. Anijah Brown Griffin. Kashara Bryant. Tanika Bunch. Miracle Joy Burris. I would like to thank my mom for the most high and everybody that supported me throughout my years. Thank you very much. It meant a lot, and it got me so far. Caleb Butler. Joshua Butler. Amarion Caldwell. Alexia Calhoun. Jalen Callahan. Liv Carter. Takenya Carthen. Charlene Cockroft. Jaden Coffey. Yo, yo, just want to say thank you to my mom and my dad and the rest of my family. I wish everybody the best and I hope everybody stays safe. Peace out. Kalia Collins. Jordan Council. Jokira Cox. Aubrey Davis Jr. Denisha Davis. Derek Denson. Matthew Diorio. Jeremiah Dobine. Deja Sharon Patricia Doss. I want to thank everyone who supported me and guided me for the last four years at Coma. I want you all to remain ambitious about your future and stay true to yourself. We made it. Kayla Dotson. Ayana Sierra Douglas. Destiny Dunnigan. Arjane Desiree Monet Dye. Jessica Edakwa. Kamaya Eubanks. Hi, my name is Kamaya Eubanks, and I want to give special shout outs to my family and friends for helping me get up to this point and starting my new journey. Victoria Faith Evans. Gibson and Dr. Kalish for writing my recommendations and my mom for helping me with my scholarship essay. George S. Fowler. Joanna, 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 
Gabriel Fields. Elijah Finley. Victor Fitz. Tasha Foster. Karan Franklin. Destiny Gill. Jalen Gist. We have made it. I would just like to thank my friends, my family who have been a great support system and still congratulations class of 2020. We have made it. Jessica Grady. Kendall Gray. Michaela Gray. James Green. Leroy Griffin, Niana Guyton, Yvonne Hale, Crystal Hall, Grace Hammond. Charles Hardy Raja Hardy Dabiana Harris Jada Harris Kanisha Harris Emmanuel Haskell. The Gary Comer wrestling team, my vice Ms. Stevens, my teacher, Dr. Kalish, and most importantly, my mom and dad. Willis Haskins. I want to thank my best friends, Ms. Stevens, and most importantly, my parents for helping me make it through all four years of high school. Darvanisha Henson. Marshawn Henson. Hello, my name is Marshawn Henson. I would like to thank all of my teachers for helping me work hard and improve my grades. I would like to thank my parents for believing in me. Last of twenty twenty, we did it. Amari Hill. David Hill. Ryan Holland. I would like to thank my mother, grandmother, and father, and the rest of my family for their support and words of wisdom. Michaela Holmes. Nate Holyfield. Jalea Hood. Seniors of 2020, I know this year has been a challenging year for all of us, even though we're going through crappy situations. Anyway, I want to thank my mom, my dad, the staff at GCCP, my advisor, Ms. Buds, and Ms. Odume for helping me and shaping me to be the best young lady I could possibly be. And congratulations, seniors. Caleb Hudson. Brianna Huggins, Jalen Ivory, 
Jaden Jackson. Jaden Jackson here, class of 2020. I want to give a big thanks to my family and Gary Cohn for everything. Go Cardinals. Jasmine Jackson. Nia Jackson. Diamond James. Unique James. Destiny Jarrett. Leonardo Jarrett. I would like to thank Mr. Green, Mr. Brown, and Dr. Kellis, and all my other teachers and ushering me into my next level of education. You have inspired me to do great things. Dania Jefferson. Faith Johnson. Thaddeus Jones. How you doing, everybody? My name is Thaddeus Jones, a graduate from the class of 2020. I would like to give a special thanks to my family and friends, especially my classmates, for supporting me along my journey and throughout high school. Mario Keys. Jada Lattimore. Joy Lee. My name is Joy Lee, and I would especially like to thank my mother, Darlene Willis, for everything she's done for me, my teachers, God, my ancestors, and I'll be continuing at Western Illinois. Christopher Loggins, Jr. Michelle Long. Dewan Dean Matthews. Heaven McCarthy. Ariana McEntee. I want to thank my mom and my dad for their unconditional love and support, my grandpa for his motivational speeches, and my teachers for their patience and devotion. Tatiana Magruder. Anthony McLinn. Dania McShann. Alexis Medley. Diamond Moore. Christiana Mosby. Malachi Mosley. My name is Malachi Mosley, graduate of the class of 2020, and I want to thank my family for pushing me through obstacles that I didn't think I could accomplish. Eric's Mota Vasquez. Thanks to my parents, friends, family, teachers, and coaches for getting me through high school. We made it. Miles Muhammad. Melvin Murphy. Ciara Murray. John Murray. Michaela Murray. Jared Naylor. Donald Nelson. Kamaria Nichols Haziz. I just wanted to say that I love all of my teachers at Gary Homer, and thank you for pushing me this far. Like, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be where I am today. I will forever be a catamount. <clears throat> 
Michael Odulaja. Chika Ogbo. Meredith Okwede. Nicholas Osborne. Jada Owens. Christopher Padilla. My name is Christopher Padilla. I am a first generation graduate, but thanks to my mom and dad, I can move higher in the world because of them. Thank you. Heaven Patterson. Raven Payton. Thank you, here come Comcast Prep, with all who have believed in me. 2020, let's get it. Esther Perkins. Aliyah Pickens. Sharika Pollard. to say thank you to my whole family for supporting me through everything I've been through through the whole four years of high school. Um, peace, class 2020. Vaishan Price. Denasia Richardson. DeMarco Robinson. Xavier Robinson. Jalen Roby. Jairus Rutledge. Hanif Salam. Hello, this is Hanif Salam. I would like to thank everyone for having faith and believing me. Thank you for pushing me to strive for greatness. Jahari Sanders. Caitlin Sanders. Skyla Sanders. Andre Sankey. family for the love and support. Christiana Scott. Juliana Scott. Xaviana Scott. Santana Shannon. Antonio Sidney Johnson. Janae Simmons. Michael Slater. Antoine Smith. I want to thank my family, my mom, my grandma, and everybody that supported me, and Miss Stevens. Jasmine Smith. Laurel Smith. Samajay Smith. Thank you to all those who encouraged me and supported me along my high school journey. Uh, it's only up from here. Brianna Starks. Jonathan Steeles. Naima Stevenson. Deja Strader. Aliyah Sultan.
Treasure Swayzer. Michaela Taliaferro. Coming out the way that I expected it to, I would still like to take the time to thank all of my teachers and my writing gifts in 2020. We made it. Dimitri Tate. Raekwon Taylor. Levante Thigpen. Antoine Thomas. Anisha Thompson. Takaya Threets. Micaiah Tobias. Harold Townsend. Sean Turner, Kiari Walker, Janaya Weathers, Micah Webb, Jalen Whitfield. Shaquan Williams. This is my brother Shaquan. He is a 2020 graduate from Gary Coma College Prep. Misha Williams. Diamond Wilson. Class of 2020. Woo! Jakira Wilson. Thank you. my teachers and staff for everything and all the support and the positive energy. And I just want to say, Class of 2020, I'm out. Remaria Wilson. Michael Worthy. Calvin Wren. Jaden Wright. London Perkins. Good evening, Catamount family, and welcome to the Gary Comer College Prep graduation for the class of 2020. Tonight, we celebrate our scholars' persistence, the ending of one chapter of their lives and the beginning of another. While I wish we were in person to celebrate our graduates, I'm grateful for the opportunity to do so virtually. We thank you in advance for tuning in to watch our catamounts and thank you for entrusting them to us over the years.